Hello, hello, hello. This is Divya, and today I'm excited to share. We are here with one of our other powerhouse authors that we are spotlighting on Make Your Message a Movement and Beyond Confidence. As you all know, we bring authors who have traveled that journey, who were ready to lean into discomfort and get into the nitty gritty of book writing. And yes, folks, it's tough, and yet it's very rewarding. So without further ado, I want to bring on Monica Atmer. Welcome, Monica. Hello, Divya. How are you, Monica? Yeah, fine. Thank you. And you? Good, good. So Monica, share with us, what was it about book writing that made you want to write a book? I wanted to desperately get my message out into the open so that people with same experiences of near-death experiences can communicate with me and exchange um, all the information that we have. And I also want to support people who've been in difficult, challenging situations in their life that maybe my way of uh, going through life is going to help others as well and uh, the subject matter of death i think every human being is curious and interested so i hope also to um, provide new information new positive perspectives in life mm -hmm. no, definitely and i know you in our previous conversations you have shared that you were thinking about writing book what was it that held you back? Well, the biggest issue was fear, obviously. Fear um, of what people would say about me and, well, the critis criticisms that I would get. And um, also because my life was in such a chaos and things were changing so quickly, I was um, not able to um, coordinate and calm down and uh, this was where Divya came in very useful and managed to focus on one thing. And so I always had one theme, one subject, and not hundreds of ideas that kept coming to me and blocking everything else out and finding my personal space and time to actually sit down and write what I wanted to say. And here's the thing, it's a partnership, Monica. We could not have done it if we were not in it together. And here you were, you were handling online classes, you were handling in-person classes, having kids. How did you come to that commitment? Because you mentioned just now that you know you had that fear, you had that a little doubt that, oh, is my work going to be criticized? How are people going to receive it? And that's always going to be there as authors. So think about, you know, as new authors or as people who are aspiring authors and want to write and then they're thinking that the road ahead is, can be tough. So can you share with us, how did you come to that commitment? The commitment came actually as I opened my heart because mm -hmm. Divya has a special way of personally coaching as well as also trying to get the writing done. And with my fear, I'd blocked my heart completely. I had um, abusive people around me and was not open. And this trust and believing in me made me open my heart again and believe in myself. And that um, then made, made it possible for me to actually finish <laughs> and get through with it yeah and here's folks here's what i'll share with you monica is being very humble here the key is no matter what it is the commitment comes from within it's a partnership it's a hug it's a handshake it's holding hands together mm. and monica was committed and yes at times what would happen is share with us a few times when things were going rough and yet you know you pull through it that once you made the commitment you are totally totally into it 
Yeah, obviously outside uh, influences come and uh, we've all been through the virus corona now and uh, being locked down and not being able to do anything and having everybody glued to you, <laughs> literally, um, doesn't give room for space and time for you to relax and calm down and actually focus. But um, I always found in the middle of the night, a few hours just to get anything written down. And um, it was so motivating to, to know somebody else on the other side is going to read it. And it's not just um, I'm spending my time on something and neglecting everything else. I'm, I'm doing it for a purpose and it will help everybody in the end. Mm. You hit the nail on the head. It's about not about you. It's about the purpose of the book. It's about even helping that one person who may be thinking, mm. I'm this odd ball in the society. Oh, I have this unique experience. I don't know if I want to share with the world or not. What if all these questions coming up and yet I love what you said, Monica, I would get up in the middle of the night. You did what it takes because that's the key that letting yourself open. So if I summarize, you know, you let your heart open. And as you mm -hmm. opened up, the motivation and inspiration started coming in. And I saw you grow so beautifully as a person from being this hesitant. You were confident, you were strong, and yet then you flourished into this empowered and superwoman. You know, I've seen you just <laughs> grow you. wings. <laughs> you, you were a beautiful woman to begin with, both inside and outside. And yet now you have blossomed into this bold and beautiful and a person who's ready to step into her shoes and stepped into it. And just seeing you own it, you don't know what it has done for my heart. Thank you so much. And now I would just like to ask you, so that readers get it, we are at a point where the book is almost done. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel fantastic. I'm very grateful. I know that it's going to have a big impact. And um, yeah, I'm excited to see it actually happen. And yeah, that's, that's, it's just great. Yes, it's wonderful. And let's say if you were to tell people who are thinking out there about writing a book, what's your message that what was the core thing that what was the change within you? How did you come to that decision? You know, yes, there can be wonderful people all around you, but it's that decision. It's that commitment. What would you say to these people that how could they come to that decision? If there's something, any tips or tricks that you can add to it. And it's not only writing a book, it's going after your dreams, achieving your goals. It could be anything. Well, everybody matters in the world and we all work together. And I'm sure that every message is important and has to be said. And so get out there, write your book and um, share it with everybody. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. And we are looking forward to seeing your book in its final form. And I know big things are there, folks. We are going to reveal everything today. Monica is planning to submit her book for multiple things and different things. So we'll definitely bring her back on and we'll continue with the journey. Thank you, Monica. And Thank you. I am so thrilled to say that it has been such a pleasure and a privilege knowing you and working with you that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and all I can say is that I I'm expecting to see you just continue growing and being the beautiful person that you are and impacting others. And that's the thing that really, really connected with me and resonated with me is that your desire to help others, even though it may be costing you. So that spirit and passion is priceless. So, folks, it was great having you. 
as part of our audience and also thank you very much monica for opening up and sharing thank you for the interview thank you